Hello students, in today's session let us learn about FEGA design flow. The FEGA design flow describes the sequence of stages that must be followed to realize designs that is digital systems physically on FEGA. Let us have a look at the flow chart of FEGA design flow which has 13 stages. Let us understand the function of each stage in the flow chart of FEGA design flow. The first stage in the flow chart of FEGA design flow is design specifications. In the design specification stage, design specifications of a design which to be implemented on FEGA are captured. The design specifications of a design would be number of input signals, number of output signals, architecture, timing specifications and the behavior of the digital system in the form of truth table. Timing specifications of a digital system are clock speed, input arrival time, output arrival time, delay between input and output signal and synchronization time between clock input and output signals. The second stage in the flow chart of FEGA design flow is behavioral description of a design. In the behavioral description stage, data flow architecture is described for the design to satisfy the behavior of the digital system described in the form of through the table or Boolean expression. The third stage in the flow chart of FEGA design flow is RTL description of a design. The RTL stands for register transfer level and it describes the circuits of registers and sequence of operations between the registers. In the RTL description stage, the behavior of digital system can be described using hardware description language that is HDL. In general, there are two popular HDL named as VHDL and Verilog HDL are used to describe behavior of a digital system. The HDL describes that how data is transformed as it is passed from register to register. The transforming of the data is performed by combinational logic that exists between the registers. The fourth stage in the flow chart of FEGA design flow is functional verification. In this stage, the functionality or behavior of a digital system described in RTL is verified by writing a test bench. The test bench holds the various test vectors to verify behavior of a design. After behavior verification, the design is passed to next stage if the verification is successful. Otherwise, design is moved back to RTL description stage to redesign RTL code. The fifth stage in the flow chart of FEGA design flow is UCF description. The UCF stands for user constraint file which holds the timing specifications that is clock speed, time delays and FEGA pin assignment for input and output signals of the design. The sixth stage in the flow chart of FEGA design is logic synthesis and technology mapping. The logic synthesis stage produces an optimized logic network for the RTL code of a design called gate level netlist using a set of predefined and pre-characterized gate technology libraries. The seventh stage in the flow chart of FEGA design flow is technology netlist. The technology netlist which is outcome of synthesis consists of interconnected gates that describe the behavior of the design. The eighth stage in flow chart of FEGA design flow is placement. In the placement stage, the gates in the netlist of a design are placed on physical reconfigurable area of FEGA. The placement is very important stage and also time consuming stage to obtain optimal placement. The optimized placement enhances the speed of a design. The ninth stage in the flow chart of FEGA design flow is routing. In the routing stage, the placed gates on FEGA are interconnected together as per the netlist of the design. The tenth stage in the flow chart of FEGA design flow is bitstream file generation. In this stage, the place and routed design image is converted into a bitstream file that can be downloaded to the FEGA device. The eleventh stage in the flow chart of FEGA design flow is programming FEGA by downloading bitstream file created in tenth stage. The twelfth stage in the flow chart of FEGA design flow is static timing analysis. In this stage, the timing characteristics and design specifications of the design is verified with the help of real time test vectors. After timing verification, the design is passed for prototype development if the design meets required specifications, otherwise the design is reprocessed 
to meet the design specifications. The 13th stage or last stage of FEGI design flow is product development. In this stage, product is prototype, tested and then release it into the market. So far, what we have seen is the process of FEGI design flow that needs to be followed to implement digital systems on FEGI. The digital system implementation on FEGI is cheap as well as fast compared to ASIC design flow. So, system modeling through FEGI is an emerging area for hardware system developers. Hope you have got a good insight on FEGI design flow. Until we meet again, bye.